Now I want you to get ready because your season is about to take a drastic change today. So turn to your neighbor and say, no more delay. Somebody show us an answer. We are in need of a savior. We need an awakening, a fresh anointing. Open our eyes again. Show us the power. Hi, this is Matt Sauger, and I want to welcome you to today's program of Power for Life. I've got a prophetic word for you today. Your life, your season, is about to take a drastic change. Everything that has tried to hold you up in a season of delay, the anointing of God, the purpose of God, the destiny of God is breaking forth in your life today, and there is going to be a whole new level of release that you walk into in your destiny in God. So let's go into the word of the Lord today as your life and season is shifted into a time of acceleration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're having fun today. How many are hungry for more of God today? How many are ready to shift to a new level today? I tell you, there's, a, there's an atmosphere of breakthrough that, that is being released over your life. I want you to get ready to break through to a whole new dimension of the manifestation of God's glory in your life this morning. I want to honor Patricia King and her whole team. Can we just, God, can we just thank the Lord for Patricia and her, her husband Ron and their whole team? She's one of my favorite people on planet Earth, and I just love her so much because she's so grounded and so solid, has so much integrity, uh, but is so hungry for God and, and, and goes after everything that God has. Isn't that awesome? Hallelujah. Woohoo. <laughs> now, today... <laughs> Today is not just going to be information for you. I mean, how many of you have come here because you want an encounter with God? I feel like the Lord is going to release an encounter for you today, uh, an impartation for you today. There's going to be a prophetic word that comes forth over your life today that is going to shift your season. I declare over you today, your season is changing. Oh, Lord Jesus. Shakaraba <laughs> Shanda. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> that David Hogan anointing is still kind of lingering up here. <laughs> oh, now look, God is moving. God is on the move. We, we, we've been caught up in a whirlwind of the glory um, just in the last several Last month or so, we've been uh, in Israel, Australia, Ireland, all throughout the U.S., and we've been seeing God pour out his glory in extravagant ways. So the Lord is about to blow the roof off of your life today. I'm telling you, I believe in the corporate anointing. I believe in that breaker anointing in an atmosphere like this, that it can literally shift something over your life. It can bring you into a place that you were not before. Some of you are about to cross over into your inheritance. Hey, hey, you're about to cross over into the manifestation of your God-given inheritance today. <laughs> now I want you to get ready because your season is about to take a drastic change today. 
what you have been walking in, what you have been living in. God's anointing, glory, and power is about to break through to a whole new dimension in your life. When you receive the prophetic word, it goes forth into activation in your life. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about, well, let's just see where the wind of God blows, okay? How many like just to follow the wind of the Holy Ghost? We're going to follow the wind of the Holy Ghost. And I want to talk to you about living out of, living out of the throne room, living out of the third heaven. Living out of the third heaven, living out of the throne room. And uh, prophetically, I, I want to start by just decreeing a prophetic word over you today from Matthew chapter 21. You see, Jesus was about to make his triumphal entry. And he says to his disciples in Matthew 21, he says, you're going to go and you're going to find this donkey and this donkey is going to be tied up. And I want you to say to the owner of the donkey, loose that donkey and let that donkey go without delay because the Lord has need of it. If they, if they ask you why, if he asks you why, just say, the Lord has need of that donkey. So the disciples went. They found the donkey tied up. And some of you have been like that donkey tied up. Some of you have been in this place of delay, in this place of holding, in this holding pattern where you've had the promise of God, you've had the prophetic word of God, and you're saying to yourself, when, God, when? When is my breakthrough? How, God, how? How is this going to happen? And you've been like that donkey sitting there tied up waiting for your moment. Well, I'm declaring over you today, your moment of destiny has arrived. And the Lord said to them, loose that donkey and let that donkey go without delay. So I declare over every area of your life that has been held up in a pattern of delay, I declare over you today, no more delay. There is a wave of mass deliverance that God is releasing over the body of Christ. Every area of resistance, every area of hindrance, every area that has tried to hold you back, push you down, keep you locked up, the Spirit of the Lord is releasing a breaker anointing. He is breaking the bonds. He is pushing the resistance out of the way. He is causing that anointing of acceleration to be loosed on your behalf. And the Lord said, loose that donkey, let him go without delay. Why? Because I have need of you. The Lord has need of you today. I say God has need of you today. God is looking for people that he can partnership with here on the earth. That he, that, that, that he would be able to loose that which is in heaven down into the earth. He's looking for people he can mantle. You see, when they loosed that donkey, they covered that donkey with clothing. And then Jesus sat on top of the clothing... In other words, what is Jesus mantling in this hour? Well, first let me tell you what he's dismantling. Jesus is dismantling everything that has, that has been built on pride and self. He's dismantling it. And in this hour, those that will be mantled with the very manifest glory of God himself will be those who understand that they are just a donkey, that it's not about them, but Jesus is mantling humility in this hour. He's mantling humility in this hour. Those that understand, hey, I'm just a donkey. But I'm clothed with the glory of God. Hallelujah. And Jesus sat upon that mantle and he rode into that city that day and the whole city went into an uproar. As God's people learn to live in the glory, learn to carry the glory, whole cities are going to go into uproar. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. You are an anointed donkey. Praise God. And I'm sure that day when that donkey walked into that city and saw those palm branches waving and the people throwing the clothes on the floor, that donkey was probably like, wow. What is all this commotion going on? They're shouting Hosanna. Wow. And that donkey probably felt pretty good walking into the city that day. But let's get one thing straight here. They weren't waving palm branches for the donkey. They were waving palm branches for the one who was on the donkey. <laughs> Woo. God is mantling your life today. And as he does, we're going to see whole cities invaded with the very power and presence of God. But there's this acceleration being released. There's, there's those areas that have been held up in delay. God is loosing them now. It's part of the wave of mass deliverance that God's releasing over the body of Christ. Things that have held people captive for years, God is saying no more. He's saying, I have need of you. I have need of you. Why? Because there's a harvest coming in. Why? Because God needs a new wineskin. Why? Because God needs a person that he could partner with in the earth that will carry his glory in the earth as it is in heaven. So turn to your neighbor and say, no more delay. Come on, prophesy it over them. Declare it over them. Say, no more delay. You are coming into your season of manifestation. What are the prophets saying right now about what's next? Beyond 2012 is an explosive new book detailing what major prophets are saying for the days to come. John Paul Jackson, James Gall, Heidi Baker, Stacey Campbell, Matt Sorger, and more. Read the prophetic words of 20 of today's prophets. Will humanity teeter on the brink of destruction? Or is there an imminent, incredible deliverance in store for a desperate, dying planet? And you are the answer. It is time for the church to rise and shine, to bring light and love into the darkness overtaking the earth. Order Beyond 2012 for a love gift of $20, with free shipping and handling in the U.S. only. Call 1-877-GOD-3131 or go online at mattsorger.com. Be a light in the darkness. Hi there, Patricia King from Extreme Prophetic. We love Matt Sorger. We love his vibrant faith, his tenaciousness in the spirit, his commitment to the Lord, and his integrity. He is a man that we highly respect, one of the younger generation who's going for it in God. And we say, keep going for it, Matt Sorger, because the world is being changed in the glory because of you. Bless you. There is power in partnership. You know, in 1 Kings 17, the widow partnered with Elijah. And as a result of that partnership, she experienced an overflow of the anointing in her life that even caused her dead son to be raised to life again. And I believe there's something that happens when you partner with the anointing. You partner with Holy Spirit and with what He's doing in the earth. For all of our wonderful partners that become a part of our family, not only do we cover them in prayer and pray for them every single month, but also they receive a message, a preaching, a teaching in the mail every single month, a prophetic word from the Lord that encourages their faith, that inspires their walk with God. All of our partners receive many different kinds of benefits from our ministry. They get discounts on all of our resources, discounts on our conferences, preferred seating in our conferences. And I just want to encourage you today, consider becoming a partner with Matt Sorger Ministries. I want to invite you personally out to our Glory, Signs and Wonders Holy Spirit Convocation. 
coming up April 19th through the 21st. This is going to be an explosive gathering of the manifest presence and power of God. I'm so excited for the people that are going to be joining us for this year's Glory Signs and Wonders Convocation. We're going to be joined by Patricia King, who's used by God in the media industry. She's used uh, as a prophetic mouthpiece of the Lord, and she just loves the glory, and she flows with the Holy Spirit. And Brother David Hogan, who's got, God has used him to raise people from the dead. If you want your life filled with power, if you want your life filled with glory, if you want to see miracles and healings and deliverances break forth through your life, you're going to want to join us for three days in the glory. You're going to be saturated with the word, anointed by the power of God, and sent out to change the world. You are coming into your season of manifestation, Romans chapter 8. I want you to turn quickly to Romans chapter 8 with me. You're, you're, the Lord is accelerating you out of your past season into your new season. Praise God. And what hindered you in your past season will not follow you into your next season. I said things that hindered you in your past season, they are not following you into your next season. God is causing his people who have fought the lion and the bear in the place of secret. God is causing them to move up into higher dimensions of authority. God is releasing divine promotion over people's lives. And where they have been in warfare in this past season, hallelujah, you are still breathing. You are still here. You have made it through. The devil tried to take you out, but he couldn't do it. Because there's a call of God on you. There's an assignment that God has for you. And until that assignment is fulfilled, until that assignment is completed, everything that the devil tries to throw at you, God's going to boomerang it back on him. And I'm telling you, the area of warfare in your life in the past season is going to be transitioned into an area of authority into an area of power, into an area of dominion, you're going to start to walk and live in a whole new dimension of God's authority and power. And I'll tell you what, today the devil's going to regret the day he ever tried to mess with you. Because God is calling you to arise and shine in this hour. The manifest sons of God are coming forth. And Romans chapter 8 is very clear about the manifestation of these sons and daughters. And it says that those who are mature sons and daughters are those who are led by the Spirit of God. That's what the definition of a mature son is. They're led by the Spirit of God. And then as Romans 8 goes through and it talks about the groanings of nature and all of these things. Look, all of creation. You want to know why there's crazy weather patterns out there? Because creation is saying, church, will you finally step up to the plate and be who God has destined you to be? Nature is groaning for the revealing of these mature sons who understand what it is to walk and live in the Holy Spirit. But there's a revelation here, a throne room revelation that God wants us to access today. In Romans 8 verse 30, it says, those whom he foreordained. How many here have been foreordained by God? We heard it today in the prophetic worship. God has chosen us. Praise God. He has foreordained us. Those whom he foreordained, he also called. You've been called. You have an assignment. You have a destiny. I say you have a destiny. I say you have an assignment. Those whom he called, he justified. Well, we understand that. God called us. He saved us. He justified us. Praise God. Just as if I never sinned. Hallelujah. Well, what does justification mean? It means that you have been brought into right relationship with God. You've been brought into right standing with God. There is nothing separating you from God. Hallelujah. Say, I've been justified. Well, that's a good revelation. And a lot of people just kind of stay right there. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I love you. I know you. I've been forgiven of my sin. Amen. Let me inherit my promised land in my pew on Sunday morning. 
And then, you know, even though they realize they've been justified, they still walk around with this mentality, with this mindset that says, oh, I'm just a worm. I'll always be a worm. I'm a sinner. I'm always going to sin. This is it. This is me forever. I'm never going to change. Wah. But I have news for you today. Not only does God forgive you of your sin, he's made you a brand new creation. Which means there is an identity change that takes place. And if you are to fulfill your assignment, and if you are to carry the very glory of God on your life, yes, you understand you're a donkey, but praise God, you are an anointed donkey. But you understand, you understand a new level of identity. Identity is so important. If we're to really walk as God has called us to walk and be who God has called us to be, we have to see ourselves as he sees us. So when God sees us, he sees us justified. But not only that, it says, whom he justified, he also glorified. Glorified. Past tense. You know, for years I read that. Oh, that's my future glorification, praise God. One day I'll be just like Jesus. I'll be glorified. But, you know, I realized it's a, it's a statement of something that has already happened. Those he justified, he also glorified. And I read in the Amplified Bible. I like the Amplified Bible. It was written by a woman. It was. Historically, the Amplified Bible was written by a woman. Enough said, I won't go any further. It gives five words for every one word. It expounds, it expounds the Greek. It's wonderful, I love it. Those he glorified, now look what it says. It says, raise them to a heavenly dignity, a condition or state of being. Those he glorified, he raised them to a heavenly dignity. He raised them to a heavenly royalty, to a royal state of existence, to a royal state of being. In other words, you're no longer stuck here in an earthly dimension. You're no longer stuck in the first heaven or the second heaven. But God says now you have been seated with Christ in heavenly places, which means you have been glorified with Christ in Christ to a heavenly state of of existence, a state of being, a royal state of being. You are royalty. Hallelujah. You have been glorified. You see, and a lot of people get stuck in the first heaven and the second heaven. They get stuck there. They get stuck. You know, let's talk about warfare for a moment. They get stuck in first heaven, second heaven warfare. They're fighting all the demons from down here. You know, the favorite song back, way back when, you know, when I was growing up in, in, in church, you know, we're, you know, we're tearing down principalities. You know, do war in the heavenlies. We're going to pull all the principalities down to where we are. Hallelujah. And it's always been from down here fighting up there. But look, you're not fighting from the first or second heaven. You're fighting from the third heaven. You're fighting from a glorified state of existence. You are over. You are not beneath. Come on now. You got to get this today. You are over. You are not beneath. Oh, somebody shout to God. What are the prophets saying right now about what's next? Beyond 2012 is an explosive new book detailing what major prophets are saying for the days to come. John Paul Jackson, James Gall, Heidi Baker, Stacey Campbell, Matt Sorger, and more. Read the prophetic words of 20 of today's prophets. Will humanity teeter on the brink of destruction? Or is there an imminent, incredible deliverance in store for a desperate, dying planet? And you are the answer. It is time for the church to rise and shine, to bring light and love into the darkness overtaking the earth. 
Order Beyond 2012 for a love gift of $20 with free shipping and handling in the U.S. only. Call 1-877-GOD-3131 or go online at mattsorger.com. Be a light in the darkness. April 19th to the 21st, it's the Glory, Signs and Wonders Convocation with Matt Sorger, Patricia King, and David Hogan. April 26th to the 29th, Glory Meetings at two locations in the Netherlands. April 30th to May 1st, Matt continues his Glory Meetings in Oslo, Norway. Come experience the glory. God really does have need of your life today. The Lord has need of you. Therefore, He is speaking over you today. No more delay. The purposes, the plans, the strategies of God for your life. Whatever the adversary or circumstance or people have tried to do to try to hold you back, the Lord is overcoming all of those obstacles for you today. He's fighting on your behalf. He is calling you. There is a wave of breakthrough and deliverance being released on the body of Christ in this hour. The things, the stuff that has tried to hold you back, that has tried to keep you constrained, God is breaking the hindrances off of your life and you are advancing forward into your destiny in this hour because God really does have need of you. Your season is changing. Your season is shifting. Let the old go and receive the best that God has for you. I want to encourage you today. The prophets are speaking all across the world. We've got this amazing resource today. It's called Beyond 2012, what the real prophets are saying. The voice of the Lord is being heard in the earth today. And this book has 16 international and national prophetic voices, prophets of God that are foretelling and proclaiming what the Holy Spirit is saying for the world 2012 and beyond. This is not a book just for 2012. This is what God is speaking for the next generation of the body of Christ. There is a shift of season that's happening and we've got to lay hold of the prophetic word of God. What is God saying? Where is the church going? What is the word that the Lord is speaking over your life so you can lay hold of it and advance forward into every good thing that God has for your life because it really does have amazing things for you. So I encourage you today, take advantage of the resource offer we're giving you today. This resource, I take the time to tell you about it because it is so important, it is so significant. It will help shift your thinking. It'll help give you perception prophetically into what is coming so you know how to handle the days ahead. You know how to thrive and not just survive in the things that are happening in the world around you. So I want to pray for you today that every area of delay that has been on your life, that God will break it through in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for each person watching today. And I declare over you, no more delay. I speak over every area of hindrance. I speak over every area of resistance. And I say, be broken through in the name of Jesus Christ. I release that anointing upon you now. And I say, let the vision come forth. Let the word of the Lord come forth. Father, I thank you. You have need of that individual. And I say, let every chain fall off of their life. Father, let every demonic hindrance break off of them now in the name of Jesus. Every pattern of hindrance, every pattern of the demonic, every pattern of sin, be loosed from it today in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. We need your power for life. Power, power for life. Change your world. Partner with Matt Sorger Ministries.